Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. And last time we ended up here at the Charybdis Systems, Charybdis 3, and uh, we came here to the Crucible, where everybody is a clone of somebody famous from history. But something a little bit deeper is going on and we have to go to a facility nearby and just see what is happening. So, let's get into it. Joop. Aha. Right. Yes, last time we spoke to uh, Amon, Amon, Amondreus, Amondeus, I think, and Genghis Khan. And, um, yeah, they're, they're not very happy. And now I think we have to speak to... Oh, we also spoke to this guy. Um, oh, God, I can't remember his name. You actually came from space. Franklin Delano Re Roosevelt. And now I have to speak to him again. So, let's have a chat. Hello. Hello. So, you have heard from the other societies. I have. I must confess I'm very curious what an outsider thought of them and their positions. You might be the first objectively neutral party we've ever come across. <sighs> well... Hmm... <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. A very diplomatic approach. The facility has gathered some of the most obstinate and dangerous personages throughout history. Yep. It has told them that they should lead in a golden age via whatever means they see appropriate. Setting us all loose and parter as a whole would invite disaster. We are barely fit to lead ourselves. Hmm. Well, I... Hmm. Yeah, what's your plan? What's your plan? Certainly. It is evident that the facility is decaying. It is both unsustainable and unwise for us to fix and maintain the status quo. Our community must be weaned off the machines. Learn how to build, grow, and govern ourselves. Allow to raise families so we can pass our lessons to the next generation. And to die. When our allotted time is finished. Mm. One day we will be worthy of going to the stars. We are just not there yet. I... Yeah, you can't raise families because you're clones. Does that mean you're infertile? Yeah, maybe. Yes. And not to be indelicate. Okay. Not for lack of try. Fair enough. Are we even human in this state? We have no future. Only the past. <sighs> Is it wrong if others want to escape this prison? Do not listen to passion. Genghis can be very persuasive, but he's a fool. In some sense, we are an abomination. A science project made for unknown ends and with uncertain results. Once we are fully human, fully self-reliant, then we should be allowed to join the settled systems. Hmm. I will think about it, yeah. I am sure in time you will see the validity of my argument. Go to the facility and see what can be done. Maybe we get some answers there. Maybe they'll tell us what. Over here. Why? Hey, we need to talk. Oh, Wyatt, what do you want? In my darkest hours, Listen, it's not safe to talk here. It's about Roosevelt. There's something you need to know. Okay. Um. Yeah, what do you know about him? Not here. If he found out I'm even talking to you about this... Well, all right. I'm all ears. Thank you. Where are we going? There's a, well, a cave. Just outside town. No chance of us being listened in on. Please, come as quick as you can. Ideally, before you go to the facility. All right. Um. If it's that important, I'll go now, yeah? I'll meet you at the cave. All right. Okay, we'll, we'll go meet Wyatt at the cave then. I just... What is going on here? Who... Who... 
who made this place? Who came up with it? What? Why? Is more important. Okay, so we need to go to the cave. Secret lives. Yes. Let's see what that's about, shall we? All right, Wyatt. Ooh. Okay. Well, we might as well scan some stuff on the way. I'm just a little... Um... Yeah. It just seems odd, doesn't it? Who would make clones of all these people and not kind of and a scanning we go. provide a reason as to why 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 they would make these people what these people are they people this is the thing what i mean i don't know i am confusion can we come through here oh thank you okay Satellite ghost vine. Have we gone past the cave? Oh no, it's down here. Okay. Yeah, um... Hmm. This certainly is a strange, uh... What? What was that? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Put our light on. Hello? Alright, Wyatt, what's going on? You came. Yes. Uh I just can't take a chance. Well, what's These going on? These clones, they, they're psychotic. Crazy. If they find out, I'm sorry. I, I just can't take the chance. <sighs> All right. Yeah, take a deep breath. I'd like to help. What's going you're on? Just making it worse. Oh. I'm not Wyatt Earp. I wish. God, how I wish I was. I was cloned off a monster. America's first serial killer. H. H. Holmes. Oh. Wait. Smiley, the local innkeep. A serial killer? Whoa. Um. I know who H. H. Holmes is. Because I've, I've heard a lot about him and I've obviously seen, um, playthroughs of I think it was oh, I can't remember what it was called but let's let's find out who is H.H. H. Holmes he was a deranged lunatic on old earth in the 1890s he owned a hotel he did he'd lure people there in this crazy hotel with all sorts of terrible rooms but I'm not him you gotta believe me yeah it's okay it must be a terrible burden yeah it's like a living Nightmare. All right. If you go to the facility, I know you'd find out who I am. Okay. And if you let any of these bloodthirsty maniacs know, they'd kill me. But no, that wouldn't be the end. Every time my new clone would appear, death, torture, pure hell. Okay. I'm afraid it's you or me. I'm going to k kill you. I don't think you are, son. <sighs> Yeah, you do, we don't have to do this. There's got to be another way. I just don't see a way out. Well, who says I'm going to tell anybody, you buffoon? Yeah, be white Earth, be the hero. You can choose that. I can Ugh. wish it a million times, but it don't make it so. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, do you really think you're worse than Genghis Khan? You know what Genghis Khan did in his life? A lot of bad stuff, man. There's a screwed up honor to Genghis. Me? I'm just a yellow murderer of innocence. Dude. I can see you scared. Take a deep breath. Think about it. I just am not sure. You can trust me. I won't tell anyone. I want to believe you. I do. I'm... I'm going to trust you, okay? All right. Just don't tell anyone. This... This never happened. Okay. See, that's the thing. It's kind of like... It's the idea that... Imagine if your... Say your mother was a lunatic who killed people just for the sake of it. You know? 
And then everybody's like, oh, you're exactly like your mother, you're a murderer, even though you're not. You know? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make a... Doesn't make a bottle of sense. What the... What is that? Something in here? What? What? Is it that? Is it this making this weird noise? I thought it was like some weird bird. Yeah, I think it's that. Okay, we'll go to the facility and see what's going on. And hopefully we'll get some answers for these folks, you know. It's just a little weird, isn't it? But, as I was saying, yes, it's like people basically saying, well, because you come from this bad person, you are also a bad person. That's just ridiculous. That's stupidity in itself. Because just because somebody's parent is bad doesn't mean that they are bad as well, you know? So, that's just my two cents anyway. Okay. The Kepler R. Let's get in and uh, go and find this facility and see just what the hell is this all about. A hunting maggot maw. Dude, dude. You need up. to... Alright. That's how you get the job done. Oh, alright. Sam. Ugh. Stinky butts. Oh, face planted right into the dirt. Something's close. Something's close, is it? We can't scan these things. Ugh. Mind you, we couldn't scan them when they were alive, so. Ugh. Stinky butts. I mean, I didn't really want to take it, I wanted to scan the thing, but. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we've already scanned that. Okay. So... What? What? Bloody rocks, for God's sake. Hmm. Something seems a little bit bizarre here. We'll have a little peep round the outside. See if there's any evidence of anything going on. Out here. Do you reckon some? Hmm. Some shady beans, man. Shady beans. All right. Tell you what, then. Let's um, turn off my flashlight. Let's go in. Lair. I can hear a robot's voice. What's going on here? Oh, impact driver, no thank you. G I thought it was a body then. Okay. Something is definitely going on here. What is it? Sounds like some kind of insect or something. Let's reload. Make sure we're fully loaded, fully prepped. Damage all systems. Oh my god, what's going on? Okay. Ah. Oh. Take the creds, thank you. Nothing else. Some kind of creatures in here. I can hear things. Hmm. Something is very off here. Very off. Is it people that. Well, I mean, if there were people who had designed this particular experiment. Yeah. Then, you know, we would, um, we would know, would we not? C 
Come on, you little creep. Ooh. Oh, these sounds so gross. Do these things like take over in here? Oh. This place is ancient. Only been creatures here for ages. Not anymore. So, what are we looking at here? This. Something over that way? Down that down somewhere? Oh. Okay. Ooh. Good lord. Alright. Let's um diary praise. Discovering Galathea. I managed to break into the top floor. It's a spaceship, as we all assumed. The records call it the Galathea. Most of the ship has been stripped down, but amazingly, the comm system was operational. There was a message from another ship called the Beagle. When I played the transmission, it was just raw noise. I will try to go back tonight. Okay, so there are seven of these things. Oh, it's a horrible noise, that. I don't like it. Gross. Ugh. Stink butts. What's that? An onion? Lovely. Okay, what's this? Diary page. Escape. The confinement is driving me crazy. Day after day underground. I think Genghis is right. Escape is the only option. What? Were the clones all down here and they all escaped or what? I don't know. This just seems a little um, bizarre. What is that noise? Ugh. Sam, come on. Gross. Ooh, these things look horrible and blech. sound horrible too. Sound creepy. There you go. At least they're easy enough to do in. Ugh. Okay. What's this? Reborn. Today I am here new. They tell me I was here before, that I have been reborn. I have knowledge of a son, Kublai, and his accomplishments, of being the founder of a great empire to rival any in history. The machines tell me I am someone I am not. I will not play by their rules. This has got to be Genghis, hasn't it? Okay. Uh... Okay, ah. Uh, it's epic, we'll take it. Thank you. Um, bingo, let's see what we got. Yeah. Jeez, I mean. Were they maybe keeping the clones here originally and then had to move them for whatever reason? Because it was underground and it was driving them all a little bit nuts. Ah. Uh, that penicillin, thank you. All right, um, Sam, we need a bee. Oh, this just sounds gross, doesn't it? Oh my god. Oh, look at this. This is something's territory. Yep. Hopefully, small bunnies. That would be nice for a change. Sam, I don't think it's going to be small bunnies, mate. I know we have to collect copper, but... Ugh. Good God. Okay, what's this? Genghis explosion. Genghis somehow got a hold of explosives. Last night we woke to a thunderous din. The facility has been repeating incessantly. Containment breached. It is maddening. An expedition was sent to the outside this morning. They report predators. Deadly ones. All about. Amelia and Amon Reyes are furiously working to come up with anything that could be used as a weapon. I tried to get into the facilities in a sanctum, to no avail. There was nowhere to hide, nothing to be done but wait. Something's just weird, isn't it? 
I mean... Oh. God. Okay. Ugh. Okay. So there's an inner sanctum. Should we maybe... Maybe be a little bit careful here? Oh. Crafty. Oh, I saw you. Ugh. Gross. Anymore? There is one more somewhere, but... Plant. Of all the things. Okay. I don't know where this last one... Is that alive or dead? I think that's dead, isn't it? Okay. What's this? Anonymous last words. I woke up for the first time right here, and now I bleed. When first I heard the mission, I felt a thrill. We were chosen. We would rule again. But after spending countless days, nights, who is to say that in these windowless halls, we do nothing. The facility feeds us, the facility provides, and we just argue. But now we do more. We turn to murder. I pray you find this, brother of my blood. Do not trust Bill Hickok. He is not who he seems. Bill Hickok. Bill Hickok? Hmm... That is ominous, isn't it? Good lord. Well... We have a copy of Hard Times. We'll take that. Great Expectations, Hard Times, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Something's really weird here, man. What is the deal? Oh! Jeez Louise, man. Look. Look at the robots. Dead. We got ourselves a good old-fashioned critter hole. Yes, Would you we. Think safe in there. We have some. I feel so, so safe. Stop complaining, man. You're on an adventure. What, what's your problem? Are the kids not here? So you've no need to worry about her. She's in the ship, safe and sound with Vasco. Okay. Anything else over here? Just. Why does it? Why is it making noise? That's what I don't understand. Oh. Ugh. Okay, what's this? Diary page. Ada's questions. Ada's questions. Unanswered questions. Who created the facility? Is the mission the real reason it was created? Do we really share the DNA of our namesakes? Are there... Are any people watching us? Are the robots as unintelligent as they appear? Are the reborn really what they claim? So many more questions. So few people are asking the right questions. Okay, got one more to find. And hopefully we'll get some answers. Good grief. Somebody must have built this thing. I mean... The facility doesn't just spring up out of nowhere. You're great. Oh, thanks. You know... Oh. Oh, it's all sounds really ugh, like sticky, gross sound. Oh. Some good old bread. I got some good old bread. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's go down into the lovely creature hole. As, um, or critter hole, as Sam put it. Oh, that's, that's, yeah. Alright. Dead robots. Oh.
There it is. And there it isn't. Oh. Okay. This is literally like a horror film. Oh. My God. What in the world? Okay. Can we get up here? Sam, please. We need to... Oh. Jeez Louise! So what the... I mean, what the hell is this thing? This ain't over. You can't catch them all. Of course you can. We'll kill all these things. Just... just... Oh. Alright, alright, alright. Aim better, Eve. Whoa, whoa. Gross. Oh, the light. I don't even know how to describe these things. Oh, there's another couple down here, apparently. Okay. Well, they don't need it. Last one. Okay. Ada's diary, heart of the facility. Years of trial and error, and I have attained proficiency enough to call myself a programmer. It's amazing how far things have advanced from my memories. To think Babbage and I would open this untold world of knowledge and power. I realise I never will be a masterful programmer. I have no books or text to advance myself, but the intricacy of the security here is daunting. The facility is on full lockdown, and the only solution is the security override code. But where is it? This part of the facility was closed to us until Genghis set off his explosions, and even here there is nothing short, nothing of the sort. If only I had more time to think, but the monsters lurk in every hall now. Perhaps the damage to the facility means this is my final life. A pity. So much more to discover and learn. Oh my god, really? We have to choose a society to give this info to? I mean, I don't really want to do that. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Oh god, Sam, you always want a chat, mate. You always want a chat, do you not? Can we not go in there? Do we not have the facility code? Can we not find something? it? Oh. Staple gun. So... I wonder if we give the copper to the robots, whether that would solve the problem? Jeez. I... 150 copper is a tall order, though. Where does this go? The facility. this. Open the door. Oh. What? What the hell? Uh, 
I mean... I honestly don't know which society we could possibly give it to that wouldn't result in, I don't know, something awful happening. Is there anything in these? Can I get anything out of these? No. Why am I hearing ducks? So... Okay, this is this is toxic. Never mind. Never mind. Stop 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 stop. I don't got many friends, so I figure I gotta level with you. Okay, go on. My past keeps showing up. I should get ahead of it before I get behind it. Okay. <sighs> Hell, this is tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Um Yeah, go on. I'm in your corner, mate. That, that means a lot. You know, when I turned 18, my dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. If there is a way to take the wonder out of space, it was working for that outfit. Every milligram of helium-3 accounted for. Timetables down to the second. Too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. <sighs> All the charm of accounting wrapped up in bureaucracy. Joy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's about the size of it. So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Hell, I was still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but... Suddenly, God help me, it was fun. Well, uh, what was fun about it, yeah. Up until then, I tried my best to be the dutiful son. I hated it. But man, I tried. This, this was a rush. It's a thrill. Lying through my teeth to customs, even that shady delivery guy. It felt like I was finally, truly living. Well, okay, I mean, I could see the appeal. And you're a hell of a lot smarter than I was. So, uh, more jobs started coming. And everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people were much better armed. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons, maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. Well, I mean, you know you didn't kill them, yeah. Not directly. And I tell myself they'd get guns from someone else. But in my heart, I knew blood was on my hands. Soon the boss man's relying on me and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. Oh dear. There are whole weeks that are blank. Oh, God. Never had a lick of trouble. Till I did. Um, okay. Were you good at it? At the time, I thought I was the bee's knees. But looking back, a lot of it was dumb luck. I swear my damn name got me out of trouble most of the time. Oh, you're a cold like Solomon? They just waved me through. Oh. Um. That's true. You can't keep playing with fire without getting burned. Very true. You're right, of course. Mm hmm To this day, I don't know what I was running that last job. But it was tasty enough. A whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Okay. Yeah, a sane man would have been scared. But I looked at my pissant trading skiffs, dual cannons, and shouted... Oh, this is on! Oh, God. Yeah, I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. And that should have been the end. But that's when the rangers showed up.
You must have been incredibly relieved, yeah. Good God. <laughs> you think? And then, dependable and straight as an arrow, Lillian Hart came on the comm, and well... It's like hearing the voice of an angel. The Rangers took them out, no problem. Oh, that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. Oh. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the Rangers were impressed with me. Offered me a job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but... Lillian... She... Saw something in me. And I took the job. And that's it. All my cards are on the table. Well... And she knew you were a smuggler, yeah. Officially, my cargo was destroyed by the fleet. Unofficially, hell yes she knew. She jettisoned it herself. I don't know why she did it, but she stuck her neck out for me. And mm. after she helped me sober up and put the mess I was back together. Well... That could be true. That is kind of funny. That's, uh... Well, that. Okay. But the thing that scares me... is Cora. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Why? Sometimes the way she looks at me... I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone... Oh, honestly, the angsty parent. Good grief. Worse than the angsty teenager. Uh, when she's older and the time is right, you have to tell her. Yeah, when she's a bit older, she'll, she'll understand a bit more. She's a bit of a kid at the moment, so yeah. <sighs> well, ain't that something to look forward to? Just so you know, all this, this is why Lillian is something else and I really need to own that and have a tough talk with Lillian tell her about that follow through you mentioned Cora's at an important age right now every visit counts you can't flake on her well for now let's do something more cheery like getting a root canal we won't be doing that definitely not right well folks wh what the hell is that a flocking what now I've got to know. I've got to know. We go peek at this thing. Ah, uh, I want to look at this thing. It looks weird. Ah, uh, stinky. Ugh. Ooh, don't like that. Okay. Well, do you know what we're gonna do, folks? I am half tempted to, obviously off screen, because I don't really want to, um, to subject you all to my ridiculous mining. I am half tempted to, um, to actually, okay, to actually get the 150 copper that the robot wants. Because I don't know whether that will do something else for us in this quest. I don't know whether this quest affects anything in terms of... Actual, I don't know. The actual place itself. I don't know. This is it. I don't know. I would be curious to find out, though. I don't know. It's very odd. Very strange. Very strange indeed. This is a nice planet, though. Look at this. Beautiful green landscape. Very nice. Not cold at all. What's the temperature like? And stuff? 10 degrees. Very nice. Love it. Okay. Well, we are going to leave it there for today. Next time, we'll return to the clone camp. I might have hopefully gotten the um, gotten the copper by then. And um, we'll see what the outcome can possibly be. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>